So Ravens decided, you know what? We're going to get extra active today. EDC is like, man, EDC probably been on YouTube and Twitter and all that. He like, man, there's so many people. They bad mouthing my team, bad mouthing my roster, bad mouthing me, bad mouthing my coaching. You know what? All right, I, I got something for them. So now he, he brought in JPP for a visit earlier, uh, but also somebody else who's visiting uh, is Blake Martinez. I think somebody actually sent in a question from subscriber about Blake Martinez like uh, a couple of weeks ago. And now, whoever that was, I can't remember off the top of my head, boom, there you go. Now, with Blake Martinez, I remember him um, being number 47 on the Packers. Uh, and he's been with the Giants for the past couple of years. Uh, and he is known as a tackling machine. Uh, he always racks up like 50 million tackles. Um, but I do believe that pass coverage was an issue for him. Now, he signed, uh, when he first signed on with the Giants a couple years ago, he signed like a, a three-year, $30 million deal. Um, but then last season, uh, he hurt his knee. He hurt his knee, so that obviously ended his season. Uh, and then this year with the Ravens, I'm, not the Ravens, with the Giants getting a new defensive coordinator who was with the Ravens the previous year, Wink, um, Blake, it just wasn't look like they were going to use him like that. They asked him to take a pay cut, and it just, it, it was time for to move on uh, for both sides. Um, new regime, uh, new linebackers. New scheme, old linebackers, out of there. Uh, so Blake Martinez, they, they cut him a couple of weeks before the season started. Uh, so he's a free agent, and the Ravens are bringing him in. Um, now, just looking at his numbers uh, over the past couple of years, uh, we can really start in 2017 because that's when he really became a starter, playing 16 games uh, for really, besides last season, um, he played, he usually plays in like 99% of the games because uh, it didn't go to being 17 games until last year. Uh, so that that was an anomaly, I guess, and that's when he got injured. But besides then, he's played – uh, in all the games every single season. Um, but starting in 2017, uh, he had 144 tackles. The following year, 2018, 144 tackles. 2019, 155 tackles. 2020, 151 tackles. So this dude, like, literally tackles everything. That's a lot of tackles. Like, a lot of times with linebackers and stuff, you'll see, like, especially a starting inside linebacker, you may see, like, 100, 110, 120. Oh, then that ain't bad. But this dude, that's, that's a lot of tackles. There's a whole lot of tackles. Um, so tackling is something that's very important, uh, especially, I mean, I was going to say in the middle of the field, but really any part of the field, because if you don't tackle, if you can't tackle, then that can lead to a lot of bad stuff. As we remember a lot of last year with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, this year, not so much. This year, the tackling hasn't been bad so far. In the Jets game, it was really good. In the Dolphins game, uh, for the most part, yeah, it was pretty good. The only problem is only problem in the Dolphins game was just dudes running wide open. That was it. The dudes were just running wide open. So, um, but as far as tackling, that that's been fine. Now, um, but why? Why? Why would the Ravens bring in an inside linebacker? Why? Why for what? What would be the point? Uh, you got Patrick Queen. You got Josh Bynes. Uh, well, I think it's more so for who they don't have, um, because they just uh, put Josh Ross uh, on injured reserve, uh, and even maybe even with Josh Bynes. It, it could be a possibility that they look at Josh Bynes and they're like, Ugh, um, hmm, we got a little bit of concern there. Got some concerns there. Because um, they, they may look at him and they may feel like there may be some times where he may be a liability um, where, to where he just can't get there quite fast enough. Um, and so, I, but who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm sure if, if the Ravens do end up signing Blake Martinez, which, I mean, I I expect them to at this point. Like, that, yeah, but anyway, um, it could be for that. It could be for special teams. Um, but I, I think that I would expect him to be on the field. Even if uh, if they sign him now, uh, even if he's not on the field much this week, but in the, in the five, next couple of weeks, I would expect somebody like him to end up being on that field. Um, to me, I would look at this like sort of like a, a Josh Bynes or LJ Fort type of signing from a couple of years ago. Shout out to LJ Fort, by the way. I hope, I hope he's doing good. Um, but I would look at it like something like that to where it's the Ravens. They're signing a player, a veteran player, uh, who they know he, he still obviously got plenty left in the tank. Um, uh, but somebody who 
maybe more of a, one of them low key players where it's not like this obviously not a big star name or whatever but what star name besides Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be out there in free agency at this point but um one of those low key guys where it's like all right they low key but they could come in and, and make a significant impact that's how I look at it that's how I think they're looking at it um so again it's just a matter of seeing but uh, again this is just a visit it's just a visit for right now uh so in order for this thing to become official a uh, pen would have to be put to paper. Uh, and Ravens are thin. Uh, they thin at pass rush. They thin at outside linebacker. Um, can, can, can Blake Martinez, can he rush the passer? It, 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 can he be a pass rusher too? Like, we know he could tackle, but can he rush the passer too? Like, it, if we look at his sack numbers, uh, they've been solid. But again, yeah, they've been solid for an inside linebacker because he, uh, his rookie year, 2016, he had one sack. Uh, 2017, he had one sack. With 2018, he had five sacks. Uh, and then in 2019 and 2020, uh, he had three sacks each. So, yeah, I guess his average is about two and a half, three sacks a year. So, ain't bad. Not bad. Um, but again, his bigger impact, uh, it comes from tackling. Now, uh, a very important part of tackling because when it comes to tackling, you could, uh, not even necessarily easily, but you could have a bunch of tackles uh, from your opponents getting <laughs> a bunch of positive yardage on you. Um, but what about tackles for loss? Well, are you tackling people in the backfield? And how often are you doing it? Um, and, of course, for a linebacker, it's not so cut and dry. It's not so black and white for them making tackles in the backfield because a lot depends on the opponent's offensive line, how good are they blocking. A lot depends on your defensive line, how good are they penetrating that offense. So, so much depends. That's how football is the, the ultimate team sport because so much depends on other people. You could be doing a phenomenal job at your job, but then if somebody else is doing a poor job at their job, even if you are playing perfectly, then it ain't going to work. It's not going to work out. Uh, but anyway, um, rookie year, 2017, I mean, excuse me, 2016, he had four tackles for a loss. Then in 2017 and 2018, he had 10 tackles for a loss each. Um, then in 2019, Lamar's MVP year, uh, he had five tackles for a loss. And then in 2020, he had nine tackles for a loss. So solid stuff, man. Um, solid stuff. And of course, again, last year, we, we're not saying last year because he only played three games last year. That's where he hurt his knee, and, and his season got ended prematurely. Um, but another thing, too, um, speaking of stuff that happens in the backfield, QB hits. Um, and over the last three full seasons that he's played, 2018, 2019, and 2020, uh, he's gotten six QB hits uh, in 2018, three QB hits in 2019, and in 2020, he got six QB hits. So... Hey, maybe the Ravens are looking at that like, man, we, we trying to hit these quarterbacks. Like, we, we hit two or like maybe two times, something like that, nothing crazy. Uh, but we, we, we need to get back there a little bit more. We need to exhaust every single avenue and way to get to the quarterbacks as we possibly can because the challenge is only going to get harder for me. They're only going to get tougher. Mac Jones, Mac Jones, he ain't like this crazy mobile quarterback, but he ain't going to just sit there and post up in the pocket, no. He gonna move a little bit. Then you got Josh Allen coming up. Um, you do got Brady, but that's a little further down the road. Um, but then you got guys like Jameis Winston. Um, you got Joe Burrow. Uh, you got Deshaun Watson. You got Jacoby Brissett. Um, who else Ravens play this year? You got uh, Mitch Trubisky. Um, and he he can move a little bit, a little bit, but he he can move enough. Um, who else? But it, you you get my point. A lot of quarterbacks that you're going to be facing, they are not just going to be stationary and just posted up like statues in the pocket. No. So you got to get people that can move. You got to get people that could get them hits in on them. Uh, and people that, again, JPP, get that pressure on them. And for Blake, hey, if they get past the offensive line, hey, you make the tackle. You just go do your thing. Make the tackle. That, and that's, that, 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 that might be one of them things where they, that, they like, hey, Blake, that's all we need you to do. Just come in, make the tackle. That's it. Simple as that. So hopefully um, he's healthy. Uh, I'm sure Ravens will do that extensive uh, research and examination on his knee on just the whole physical. Because he obviously got to pass the physical. But 
I'm sure they're going to do their due diligence uh, on the status of his health to see exactly where he is uh, health wise. Because health is wealth, baby, as y'all already know, especially uh, y'all being Ravens fans, especially after last year, year. Yeah, health is wealth. But anyway, we'll see what goes down. Uh, I expect I definitely expect, like I said in the previous video, which YouTube initially didn't even send out a notification on Like YouTube. What's up, man? Come on now, let, let people know that we uploaded a video, man. Don't start that foolishness, man. Anyway, um, like we said in the previous video, I expect JPP to be signed. Between today and tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is practice, so maybe they may officially announce it tomorrow, but they agree to the terms and all that today. Who, but I, latest by tomorrow, I expect JPP to be signed. Latest. They can go ahead and announce it tonight, though. Might as well. But latest uh, would be tomorrow. Maybe it's one of those things where they announce it tonight. Well, the reporters and stuff, they announce it tonight. And then it becomes official. The Ravens announce it tomorrow so he can be part of his first practice, uh, which is tomorrow on Wednesday. And with Blake Martinez, I mean... Yeah, they probably sign him too. And we'll sign both. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And we out.